everybody, this is Dream, and today we have a five-game slate on DraftKings. I'm not playing on FanDuel today. These slates are absolutely insane lately. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we get back to a more normal slate. It seems like it could be possible. Uh, so let's get into this slate, though, itself, and let's get an injury report. Um, we're going to start with uh, the fact that there are two teams that may have a significant portion of the rosters out again, as usual. In the last week, this has been happening a lot. Let's get an injury report for the Pelicans. Uh, Trey Jones is questionable. Zion is out. Ingram is out. For the Raptors, Van Bleet is questionable. For the Warriors, Clay Thompson, Kaminga are both doubtful. Iguodala is questionable. Jam Green and James Wiseman are out. For the Wizards, Beal is questionable. For the Heat, Lowry, Robinson, and Jovic are out. And Martin is questionable. For the Hawks, Capella is questionable. Young is probable. For the Jazz, uh, Markinen and Gay are questionable. And then Olenek is out. And for the Timberwolves, where this is going to get crazy, Edwards is questionable. Gobert is questionable. Prince is questionable. Towns is out. Uh, that t uh, the, Depending on what the Wolves happen when it comes to those questionable tags, could really make or break the slate in general. Uh, so this slate actually starts at 3 p.m., which is kind of interesting, uh, you know, being early in the day. This is why I'm making the video tonight as opposed to tomorrow morning. Um, I want to give it some time. But, uh, you know, looking at the slate here, uh, every, all the games are at 3 and 4 o'clock. So at least we have, we'll have plenty of information by the time the slate uh, gets ready to go. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the players I do like, though, at this point. Uh, we're going to start with uh, Colin Sexton here for Utah. Um, he has been playing pretty well the last couple games. Um, he's had some downs, but he has good upside in this matchup. And his price has come down quite a bit, which makes him viable here. Obviously, uh, most of the Jazz guards are back to full strength. Uh, but he's played really well off the bench all season long. And I think he's going to continue that in this matchup. Uh, then we'll look at Mike Conley here for uh, the uh, Utah Jazz as well. Um, he's been playing pretty solid lately. And his price is also uh, pretty reasonable today. He does have a pretty decent floor as well on this one. Uh, but he has uh, some upside uh, in this matchup against Minnesota who could be short-handed. And his price is just too cheap for what he's been doing. And that's kind of the reason I like him. Uh, and just from a pricing perspective, he's in a good spot. Um, then we're going to look at D'Angelo Russell. Uh, now, obviously, uh, Minnesota could have quite a few guys out today. Um... And if they are out, then Russell definitely gets a huge boost. His price has also dropped quite a bit, which is nice here. He doesn't, he isn't the most consistent player, obviously, so that is a concern. Uh, he does need 33.5 points to 5x here uh, still, but his price is reduced. It's a little bit more, you know, in, uh, where it was kind of early in November or, or late November price range. Um, and he did pretty good at that price and so hopefully he can continue that here um this is a pretty decent matchup with he's had some bad matchups lately which has definitely hurt him um then we're going to look at jose alvarado for new orleans pelicans um he's been playing pretty good off the bench uh and even starting some games um i do think that he has some upside in this matchup especially with the the big still out for pelicans he's just been one of the guys that is you know seems to have uh been pretty good uh, just coming off the bench, scoring points. Now, he has a low floor, and sometimes his minutes are really in flux. Uh, but uh, this is a tough matchup against Cleveland, too. So that is a little bit of a concern. But he does have some upside in this situation. Uh, then we're going to look at Gary Trent Jr. Now, this is kind of dependent on on uh, uh, some of the other players for Toronto, potentially, uh, in injury situations. Uh, we have... Um, uh, Van Vliet questionable, and if Van Vliet ends up being out, then I'm going to really like uh, Gary Trent today. He should have some nice upside, and his price has also been kind of reduced, which is a nice benefit as well. Um, then for forwards, we're going to start with Trey Murphy, who, after being in a slump for a while, he finally has had two games in a row that he played well. His price has continued to drop a little bit as a result of those yeah, games prior, uh, but I do think he's in a pretty good spot here. Obviously, the matchup is not super ideal, but he has had two good games in a row. And with the situation here, he should get a full complement of minutes uh, with all the uh, big guys out for the Pelicans. And so I do think that he has some nice upside in this situation. Uh, just be aware that he's been a little up and down lately. Um, Najee Marshall also in a similar situation where he's been extremely good with Zion and uh, 
Ingram out, and I look for that to continue here. Um, obviously, it's a little bit of a tougher matchup, but he has been basically matchup-proof since Zion went down. He's been over 30 fantasy points in every game except for this one against Washington where he got 29.75. Uh, his price is still pretty decent. It's not super ideal. He's not a must-play, but he's somebody to take in consideration here. Uh, then Jaden McDaniels. Now, this is very dependent on injury situation for the uh, Timberwolves, but he's been playing well and getting more minutes lately. Um, his price point isn't super ideal, but is viable, especially if... Uh, Gobert ends up getting ruled out as well. Um, obviously, uh, Kyle Anderson also has some nice upside uh, with these situations, depending on how they end up playing out here. So um, we'll have to wait and see on the on the Timberwolves here. Um, obviously, Nas Reed also will have a huge boost uh, if he ends up being the starting center. Um, he had some games earlier this uh, last month where he got starts and played 35 and 40 minutes in some of these and had some absolutely massive games. And for his price point, he's, especially on a smaller site like this, he'll be worth uh, taking a risk on if uh, those guys get ruled out. Uh, then we're going to look at Walker K Kessler here for Utah. Uh, he's been playing really well as a starter, and so if he ends up starting, then he's going to be somebody I'm definitely going to roster here. Uh, but we do want to make sure he starts, um, and he's been playing really good. I really think that he's in a great spot here been having uh, some games where he gets a lot of blocks too which is nice but he really hadn't had any terrible terrible games with that one exception against Chicago but that was only in 13 minutes but now that he's starting uh with uh Olenek out he should have some nice upside here uh he's my favorite center right now uh but we also like Mar uh, Marcus uh or sorry uh Mitchell Robinson uh for the Knicks now he's a little bit more streaky so he has got some risk his price has come back down a little bit and then last but not least we're gonna look at Bam Adebayo uh, with several injuries to the Heat, he should have some more, uh, he should be locked in here. He's been playing really well lately. He's had a couple off games, but for the most part, he's played well. Um, and with them being shorthanded, he's definitely going to have to uh, carry a little bit more offense, which he's been doing. Um, he's not super ideal, but he is viable on the slate, and he's got a nice plus matchup against Atlanta. So, with that said, guys, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Hopefully, we'll get back to FanDuel tomorrow. This, uh, these slates have just been absolutely crazy. Uh, it's nice to see some of the pricing drop here on DraftKings, though. Uh, let me go into my picks for each game. I've got Cleveland over the Pelicans, the Knicks over Toronto, Golden State over the Washington Wizards, um, Atlanta over Miami, and then Utah over Minnesota. So, with that said, guys, thank you again for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. Have a nice day, guys.